What's up everyone? I'm the Kaijin Okami here from the Toku Animation News Network and I have an unboxing video. Well, technically it's three unboxings, unpackaging that I'm going to do. I lowered the camera a little bit so that hopefully more of what I open up can be shown than what I usually do. Which box to open first? We've got Limited Run, we've got Big Bad Toy Store, and Toe Collectibles. Let's go with Toe Collectibles since it's in my hand. I hope you are all having a good day. I'm looking forward to Color Anime Fest coming out this weekend. If for some reason you have not heard by now, oh, actually, that's kind of cool. They have Boom Boom Jer packing tape, or uh, tape. That's really cool. But if you have not heard by now, we're going to be attending Power Morphicon, regardless of what happens financially in the next few days, week, don't know. Who knows, with spring break starting next week, don't know what's going to happen. All right. So, we've got here... a box. Come on, there we go. Ooh, those, this will be great because I just started a post online Marvel Legends I'm selling and probably gonna sell off some Power Rangers Lightning co collections. But anyway, SMP Die Mugen. Da, 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 da. Let's see, for Space Sheriffin, we are 39 episodes into it. Loving it so far. It's probably, it's become one of my favorite Toku series and probably my favorite Metal Hero series to date. Granted, there's only five series to choose from at the moment and I've still got others to finish, but right now I think Sheravan's gonna be my favorite Metal Hero, Hero series. All right, so, big empty brown box. Lush. Wow. This box is actually bigger than I anticipated. Dai Mugen. Oops. And did I already show this side? I might have, and then this side. All right, but yeah, this box is big. It's really cool looking. Actually, it kind of looks like the original, uh, an original toy box, doesn't it? I like that. Now, I still have my original Tor, whose parts are like stickers are falling off excessively. So finally getting some sort of new replacement, especially one that doesn't have lightning stickers is going to be awesome. Wow, this is actually a lot bigger than I anticipated. Jesus, he's huge even in 16 scale. Wow. I'm afraid that he's not actually going to fit in my glass case now, in my detox. But here is parts of him. I'm just going to stick them in that box for now. We've got... Another set of parts. Obviously, I'm not gonna build these on camera. I mean, I'll, I already make mistakes on them where I have to rebuy a brand new ones when I'm not distracted with camera. Doing it on camera? Oh my God. Hmm. Wondering if I should spray paint this gold or leave it. Should I spray paint that silver or leave it? Hmm. I haven't really been spray painting the Die Ranger ones though. So maybe I'll just leave them as is. Now, one thing I will say is I actually did not realize these were supposed to be black. I thought they were just a dark gray because that's what the Power Rangers toy always had. So when I first saw this go up, I was like, wait, 
Are they supposed to be black? That's weird. And then I looked at the Die Ranger footage and I was like, oh, they are black. Oh. Oh, nice. Nice. It's actually painted on. The gold is actually painted on the helmet. So I won't have to worry about the sticker peel, a sticker peeling off. Because as much as I, I will say the stickers from these figures are better quality than the old stickers. But I still expect that at some point they're going to get old and peel off. Even though I sprayed them with Tamiya uh, sealant. Huh. Lots of stickers for Daimugen. I, the black ones I can probably just paint. I can probably just use my paint marker for that, but not probably not on the others. Especially the ones with the gold trim around. And I don't have a green that would go with this. So, yeah, I can probably paint the blacks. Maybe the reds. Some of the reds, at least. And my little candy. And then he comes with background pieces for when you have one tiger and um the four Keaton beasts combined for their finishing move and then for Dyrenos finishing move that is actually really cool this would go great in the detoff I wouldn't be able to fit them both but this would go great in the detoff is just a background oh that is awesome that is super awesome and a little thing to just stand it up on, I guess. But yeah, that is awesome. I can't wait to take pictures when I get them all together. All right, um, big bad boxer envelope. Let's go with the envelope. This is from Limited Run. makes it easier. I actually just finished Platinuming Infant Dra uh, Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth a little while ago. So I'm happy to be done with that game. 125 hours. Okay, that's just the receipt envelope. And then what I have here is Persona 3 Portable and Persona 4 Golden. So let's crack these open and see what is here. Corellica has been playing the hell out of Persona 3 Reload. Alright, so we've got the front cover, the spine, the back. And then we've got the disc, no scratches. So disc and a booklet, yes, front, back, school life, Tartarus, information so it looks like it's an instruction manual, personas, Yeah, it looks like it's an instruction manual. I miss games having instruction manuals. Those are like the best thing ever. You could, If you couldn't play the game right away, you could at least crack open that instruction manual. Look at all the cool pictures in there. Persona Fusion Chart. So now we have... Let's see, the original PS2 copy, FES, the PSP copy, Reload, and now the PS4 version from Limited Run. Why don't they do this with Persona 1 and 2? We need, especially 2, 2 really needs to be ported onto the PS4. 
do a Persona 1 and 2 collection on the PS4 there, or the PS5, whichever. There you go. That'd be awesome. All right, let's open up Persona 4 Golden, which was on the Vita. And now we only have the original copy on PS2 and the Vita version, so I don't think we've had any other version on this one. So cover, spine, so tiny actually it's like all the way over there is that even picking up in the com in the camcorder i don't think so and the back same thing oh this one has an alternate cover compared to persona 3 hold on a minute Let's see, I never actually looked at the disc. Disc is fine. Booklet. But yeah, it has a reversible cover. That's pretty cool. I'm wonder, I wonder why Persona 3 didn't have a reversible cover like that. It just has little artwork. I guess I should show you. So yeah, interesting that this ha four has reversible art, but not three. All right, so booklet, probably the same as before, instruction manual. Prologue. Some of the characters. The TV world. Rumors has it they're going to remake Persona 4 as well. But again, how about Persona 2? Why, do Perso why is Persona 2 always getting screwed over in the U.S.? Like we had only Eternal Punishment came out for the PS1. And then all of a sudden that went out of print. And then when they brought them out to the PSP, they only brought one and um, Innocent Sin. But they never brought out the PSP version of Eternal Punishment. So how about you do something with Persona 2 Atlas that makes sense? Okay, but anyway. So yeah, these will go great with Persona 5 and um, Persona Reload. Okay, put those over here just to get them out of the way. And finally, my big bad toy store box. Big bad toy store. What is your favorite SMP for Sentai if you've been collecting them? All right, more goodness to put with my, uh, for when I sell my Marvel Legends. All right, first thing we have in the box is Super 7's Godzilla Fossil version. Let's see. What? Oh, it opens on this side. So I just cut both sides for nothing. Open the flaps. Open. Oh, nope, that's a tray. Is it a tray? Yep, that's a tray. Okay. which seems to be stuck. Ah, there we go. All right. You know, I've never had Godzilla bones before, so 
It's something I just had to get. In fact, while well, I've gotten a few other uh, Super 7 figures to... Oh, I can cut from the bottom. Okay, so that opens up down there. So you can get the tray out. But I... Oh wait, these are twist ties. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Got an oxygen destroyer. I think the one that came with 54 is actually the is actually different from this because this one looks like it's opened. I don't know if it can pick up on the camera. While the one with the 54 Godzilla reaction was unopened. So that's cool to have both versions. Now you just need some bones to act in a in an auto auto an underwater suit to act as Sirozawa. Alright, so we've got Godzilla 54 Bones version. Let's see. So the arms move. I mean, obviously he's bones, so I don't know why they would move, but they do. And the legs move. Watcha! Oh! And the tail twists. So you could actually have Oops, hold on. You can even have the bones version blowing his breath to fly after Hedera. This is after Hedera has fully taken him over, like fully sp splattered around him. A what if story? What if Godzilla was actually turned to bones by Hedera? Pretty cool. There's just something cool about owning a fossilized version of the original Godzilla. Maybe it's because it goes with Kiru. It, it's a perfect supplement to have with a Kiru figure. And then I can just stick that back there and put him back. Oh, well, I'll have to put him back in the tray later, but there you go. Little scene. Obviously, the Action Destroyer is much bigger here than it was in the actual movie. But sometimes you gotta use your imagination, man. Just use your imagination. Imagination! Alright. So that is cool. That will go good with my other Godzilla's from Super 7. Which actually, this is... Looks a bit taller than the... 54. I should have brought the 54 figure before I did this recording. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Huh. Okay. Anyway. Let's put him right there. Put that there. And the final thing in the big bad box. Big. Bad. Battle. I think it's a sticker. Fittingly, the same day Daimugen comes, one tiger arrives for the SMPs. Ugh. What's going on here? Why are you... And then I can complete my Die Ranger pictures, so then I can make a slideshow video with my SMPs and Shotos. Man, this box does not seem to want to cut. That's so weird. It's like cutting the whole box up just to get it open. Ba 
Again, it looks like toy packaging. The original, like, old school toy packaging. That looks really cool. And he does not have a flap to open up like Dai Mugen did. So I will have to... Hmm. Okay, that works. Okay, so we have them all come out at one time. We have an interesting thing of white. I, I like how it's got kind of a... It like makes me think of cookies and cream. That's what I'm trying to say. It makes me think of cookies and cream. So those will have to be stickered or painted. I think I'll just sticker them. I don't think I'll be able to paint those. There are some things I'll be able to paint, some of the stripes, but that, probably not. All right, Oop. and then we've got lots of black. More white. Oh, some red on that. That's cool, some red on there. The face is actually painted silver and red. Um, where is it? Right there. You can't see, hopefully, maybe. Oh, so it's just those two sets. That's a lot smaller, oh, okay. But this is gonna be a lot easier to put together than Daimugen. Then again, Daimugen's bigger pieces, so he that could be better. We have that. Hmm. It is interesting how some of it is painted gold, but only certain parts. Like, should I paint all this gold or leave it? I don't know. Should I paint that silver or leave it? I mean, I kind of, like I said, I left them on uh, Dyrenol. All right, and then we've got stickers, which obviously isn't as many as Daimugen. But some of these, like the red and black, I might be able to actually paint those. I might not need to use the stickers, depending on how thin those red lines are. The black stripes I can probably paint as well. That I won't be able to paint with all the symbols in there. Same with the shoulder pieces. And the back I'll probably just use the sticker for sure I really wish they were painted but oh well nothing I can do about that and then the instructions no candy huh that's interesting that there's no candy with this one Why do some of them have candy and some of them don't? Never understood that. Because one of my Mega Ranger, because I had to rebuy uh, Galaxy Mega and Mega Voyager, or Delta Mega, sorry. I had to rebuy Delta Mega and Galaxy Mega, which sadly, because sadly a piece broke when I was putting it together. And 
I mean, it kind of sucks because, well, anyway. So I have this unopened Delta Mega that I don't know what to do with. I'm trying to debate, should I just keep them as a spare in case one of the pieces on my other Delta Mega break off? Or can I sell them off? But the weird thing is the Galaxy Mega set from Big Bad was the first one. Did not come with candy. But the set from Toe Collectibles, when I bought the replacement one, did come with candy. Doesn't make sense to me. Alright, so we've got... Let's see, can I fit all these in here for the thumbnail? Uh, maybe? Let's see. Can I fit them in here for the thumbnail? There we go. Do 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 do. All right, cool. So, ooh, that almost fell. Two more SMPs, which completes the Die Ranger Mech Trio. Now I'm just curious: Will they ever do some sort of Die Jujin, or not Die Jujin? Die Jin Ryu. Great God Dragon. Die. Die. Dai Ryu, Great God Dragon, Dai Jin Ryu, yeah, Dai Jin Ryu, why did I, it's been a long time, long few weeks, but, so will they do a Dai Jin Ryu? I don't know, obviously if they do, it won't be in scale, it would be awesome, or maybe they can do some sort of Dai Jin Ryu big figure to supplement, instead of making an SMP, make it a full blown figure, to, that goes with the SMPs. I'll definitely buy it if they do. Until then, thanks for watching. If you've watched the whole video, click like, subscribe, the bell notification, whatever else YouTube has you clicking on support me. You can support me on Patreon and Inst uh, Twitter at Toku AAN Network, Facebook, Instagram, Discord at Kaiju no Kami, and my website, creativitybydesignllc.com. And you can buy cool Kaiju no Kami merchandise at creativitybydesignllc.com slash shop. I hope you also have watched my Golden Ninja, Golden Bat review. If not, go watch that now. I'm going to need as much ad revenue as I can get because things are, ha changes are happening and I might be losing my paycheck four months earlier than anticipated. Until then. Bye.